Hi, I'm Robert Yap, Team Manager of Team Singapore Muay Thai. Most combat sports, there's always some form of restriction, but Muay Thai allows it all. In Muay Thai, you can punch, you can elbow, you can knee, you can kick. In that sense, it becomes very interesting. It's a battle of wits, I would say, not a battle of strength. The misconceptions that people think about Muay Thai is they think it's violent. But if you put it in that way, so is rugby. So it's a lot of different contact sports. These days, Muay Thai have welcomed both the male and the female athletes and practitioners. In fact, in Singapore, there are more female athletes competing now than I've seen in the past 10 years. When I was growing up, my mom was around, but my dad was, I guess, very busy with his work. Oh, my dad was a very hard man. If you do something good, he just say, okay, and that's all. As a young boy, I would go out days at a time with my friends, not come back, got caught in the wrong group, I guess. Send my mom through a meltdown, my dad would come back, and I'll get a corporal punishment from him, definitely. I think he's just tired of always getting me out of trouble. Say, look, it's either two ways for you. End up in jail, or you can do something good yourself. So it's either academics or martial arts. Pick one. So I pick martial arts. My dad travels to Bangkok two, three weeks each time, and I would follow him whenever there wasn't a school period. When I came to Thailand, my dad brought me to this camp and that's where I met him. His name was Nak Nak. They call him a small kid. I saw him hitting the bag as I entered the camp. And before I left, he was still hitting the bag. That shocked me. If a boy eight years old can be that determined, then why can't I do it? I work as delivery at uh, Pizza Hut. I work at uh, Liang Seng, selling martial art goods. I did warehouse moving, work as a bouncer as well. So it was a lot of different jobs. I took about 17 to 18 years to become a master trainer. It wasn't an easy road. This year will be my second series. We are excited because we've been pairing all year round. And I believe uh, Lina Tan and Rita China, they've been working tremendously a lot around the clock. Micha has been working them day and night. We were just having a joke about how much sweat they produce each time they train. The rings literally become slippery when you walk. This fight camp, I would say, is the best fight camp I ever had because they're really prepared, they're on weight, and I can see the confidence in their eyes. I can't say which kind of medals, but we're definitely aiming for medals.